Ladies and gentlemen, members and friends, <laughs> Matt Bailey, Lachlan Watt, we're back again upstairs at Whiskey and Ailment to open the next archive bottling. Yes, we are. This is exciting because would you like a glass of wine? Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a really cool bottling that I have been just staring at to try and open. This was um, something that uh, Brooke and Julian purchased as part of a collection yep. from one of the founding members of the Australian branch of the SMWS. True. And it's just been sitting there staring at me for so for so long. So it's a perfect month to open it, perfect time to open it. You seem to be staring at it a while in the cabinet here. Yeah. Um, were you hoping to will the cork out of the bottle with your sheer energy? Yes, yeah, basically just <laughs> okay. hoping okay. for it to happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, it's open. Oh dear, look at that, yeah. <laughs> Um, for some members who like to follow this kind of thing, this is from what we often refer to as the paper label era of, of the SMWS. This is a very early bottling. The year of which this was bottled, um, I might need to come back to you on that because it was 1983, it says in the front here, which is that's also, by the way, that's 40 years ago. It's also very cool that we're opening something that was has the year of the that, the year that the society was founded. Yeah. This is like a, a foundation year. Uh, bottling so it was 40 years of the uh, of the society this year 2023 it we're out in the middle of the year this is our june opening for the bar and i guarantee you this will vanish absolutely but we've, we've already killed the uh may bottling as well yeah the may's gone. gone like may's gone. gone uh which was cantina mexicana yeah yeah i knew I mean, we knew that was going to vanish as well <laughs> um, i i was actually surprised it lasted a week yeah, right. Well, yeah, I, I saw a killed photo of it from literally last night, I think. Yeah. The night before. Um, we'll talk a little bit, uh, Lockie and I want to talk a little bit about what is Armagnac, uh, so we can sort of demystify what that is in case you've never had an Armagnac before. But also, we should probably open this. Yes, absolutely. So let's, let's, let's practice it. Um, you might need to bear with us. It is an older bottling, so it might, might take, need a corkscrew, yeah. Take a tiny bit of time. The foil's obviously a little bit. It looks pretty good condition though, the foil. Yeah, it's all right. It's just a bit. Soft. Given who previously owned this bottle, um, it would have been stored very correctly. Um, but we'll these see. older bottlings, you just got to be very careful as well with the cork. Yeah, yeah there we go. Immediately. There we go. All right. All right. Let's see if we can do some surgery on this. It's the it's the it's the curse of using cork, um, I guess. These days, we and everyone else in the industry use a pretty much a, what's called a semi-synthetic cork. So this or is like a, a composite or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, composites and semis are. You don't really see like actual, true one hundred percent cork anymore, which is, this is probably is. Um, yeah, this is entirely fused. We might have to come back to you on this one. We'll, we'll come right back <laughs> in this bottle. <laughs> We've got that part. Technical difficulties apart. Technical difficulties aside, we finally got this bottle open. So um, thank you for bearing with us. There was a gap there on your screen of maybe one or two seconds. There was a gap on our our screen, our side, for about five or six minutes. Yeah. We tried to wrangle the cork out of the bottle here. Yeah, it was fused to the glass. Absolutely fused. I'm going to pull I you around. Yeah, thank you. I'm very excited about this bottling. No, I'm very excited too. Oh, it smells incredible. Wow, it's actually, it's picked up, I reckon it's picked up some lovely bottle age. It has, yeah. yeah. There's this really beautiful like bubblegum character to it as well. And freeze dried raspberries. Yeah. Now let's just, look, we'll talk about the, what this is for starters. 43.9%, which is natural cast strength. Yep. Which is incredible to think that that is natural cast strength. Uh, one of the reasons for that is because it's, Armagnac, and it's traditionally single distilled. Single, single pot distilled through um, an, um, uh, an almond say still. Almond say still. Yeah. And uh, it's distilled wine. We're, we're talking about distilled grape here, I should say. Brandy. Brandy. Yeah. yeah. So you've got wine. brandy, you've got cognac, and you've got Armagnac. There's three sort of words are thrown around. Brandy covers, it's, it's like saying whiskey is brandy because whiskey covers the whole world. You can distill whiskey anywhere in the world. As long as it's made from a grain and put into cask, it is whiskey. You can make brandy anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. In the same way, it's distilled wine, but you can only make cognac in the cognac region and in an even smaller region and a little bit of a different process and different still is Armagnac, which is single pot distilled uh, wine, grape spirit. Yeah. 
normally distilled to between uh, high 40 and low 60% alcohol by volume. It doesn't really get much higher than that. You know, I've, I've seen, yeah, I've seen one or two Armagnacs that like in that 60, 63% range. But they're typically double pot distilled. They're not, ones. Yes. Yeah, they're never, no, they're not the single shot distillation. I think you can find the A5s, the more modern society A5s, I think they might be double because mm. they, they are quite high proof. Anyway, the, the rules and, and, and processes around uh, how Armagnac's made is it's much less controlled, much less, restri- uh, you know, than it, say whiskey is. Uh, much less than cognac as well. It is, yeah, much it is less the, the rustic younger, well, actually technically older brother of cognac. The rustic older brother of cognac. Cognac is, is, is much closer, I find sometimes, to whiskey in the um, in the respect of like, it's a double distilled cognac. It's uh, And it can be quite rich and spicy. Whereas I find armagnac a lovely, it's usually softer. Uh, I find it a bit fattier. As well. Armagnac? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a bit more. I find I've always found cognac really delicate and elegant comparatively. Um, really highlights the, the the lighter fruit characters. Where where I find in a lot of Armagnac, you find this really dense, fatty, oily spirit character, which is why it tends to be the the brandy that a lot of whiskey drinkers gravitate towards. How's the palate on that? It is That's so much fun. I, I and I honestly think the first thing that's come at, come at me for this is that it's. This is, I think, I actually think this has picked up significant, um, like, bottle effect. As in, like, it's it's picked up some mm-hmm. older notes from sitting in glass for a while, which happens to wine. So yeah. there's, there's a good case we made that it would definitely happen to distilled wine as well. Yeah, absolutely. And also the cast that these these Armagnacs are matured in are usually casts from the area, from Gascony, which are this black oak species. Which I believe they've actually traced the lineage back to England as well. Really? The old English species of oak, um, which is grown in the area. And so when these trees are felled, felled or on the properties or around the area, they make casks out of it, and that's what they mature Armagnac in. It's great, isn't it? I know. It's just such a sense of place and time. So I've got a question for you. On the yeah. bar, when, when and how would you recommend this? Like, how would that come about for in discussion for a whiskey drinker? <laughs> what kind of whiskey drinker would approach an Armagnac? That is a great question. I think it's um, normally we tend to recommend our brandies as an alternative, uh, uh, someone coined the term, alternative, right? Yeah, alternative. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like that. I like that. But if we're talking about fruit characters or just the people go, what's new and incredible? We go, okay, this is something that's really exciting to us at this point in time. Mm. It doesn't have to be a whiskey. It can be a rum. It can be a, a cognac, an armagnac, a calvados, yeah. um, whatever it might be. And we, we get very excited about it. We, we get very excited about other spirits from other parts of the world as much as we do whiskey. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. just so happens we know more about whiskey. And it's hard to get excited about vodka. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but other than that, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's what they're good at. But it's, mm. I think finding spirits like this at the bar are almost like a, a blessing because it's, it is an alternative to whiskey. It's, it's still a distilled spirit. Mm-hmm. And in this case, you're drinking something that was, that 40 years ago, the society went, this is kind of fun. And it's always been in our quest to explore flavor. Yeah. It's not just about, oh, we have to bottle whiskey. There would have been outrage when this first came out. I, I guarantee it. This it, is the sixth Armagnac made. Yeah, as well. this was the sixth Armagnac made from the society, A6. Um, this may have been the first one that came into Australia, though, mm-hmm. because of the year and you know, the time. Frame. It actually has a New South Wales import label on it. That's fantastic. What yeah. does, it, does it say Kemenies? Or does it, yeah, yeah Kemenies. There you go. That's, that's an old label. Um, but yeah, that, that's... Uh, that's exciting. I mean, that's an exciting piece of society history, especially Absolutely. celebrating 40 years this year. Something from 1983 in your glass. And I don't know how much per dram this is going to be, but considering you're going to buy yet. Considering this is going to be on the bar and you're tasting something from the first year foundation of the SMWS, this is a truly remarkable piece of distilling history that I encourage you to try if you get the job opportunity. Are you going to try this with a drop of water? There's a water correct here. Would you be? I don't think so. I think it's drinking beautifully as it is. I'm, I'm inclined to agree. It's also fairly low proof. It's 43.9. It's not. And I tend to find though, because it is a lot of these, uh, as they say uh, in France, brew de fou uh, or cask strength or straight from the cask mm. uh, bottlings of, of Armagnac, they tend to be just pulled out at that right moment because they do get pulled out of oak and put into demijohns as well. Yeah. Into glass. 
This one, I believe, was fully matured in cask. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. There was no demi in the glass. No. So, I think this was just pulled out at the right time. We've got some tasting notes in the back as well. It's definitely got that old bottle character, doesn't it? Old yeah, yeah. Character. It does. It does. It's, there is a bit of um that white pepper note to it, which I. And it's 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 great to see the the level on this was it was quite um, high when we opened it as well. All things considered, it's very good level on it. And it, that's down to the fact that that cork genuinely fused the glass. You can still see it there. Yeah. So that, that cork was very well sealed. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually a blessing as well. That it's actually a good thing when the cork is that well fused because it means we haven't had any losses. There's, mm -hmm. there's no other. Or, or minimise that loss as well. Minimise that loss and less less oxidisation. Um, this is just spectacular. I think we do this all day. Yeah, we're just we're just going to sit here all day. We're not going to endure. You don't have to endure watching us do this all day. <laughs> but you can you can uh, you know enjoy it as we go. And I hope you've learned a thing or two about Armagnac and learned a thing about what's coming up in uh, on the June on the bar with the rest of June outturn um, very shortly. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers, Sanjay. Sanjay Bar. See you soon. <laughs>